Amen. How many need some help tonight? Come on, how many really need the Lord to help you tonight? Dealing with some, going through some, you need the Lord to help you tonight. But tell your neighbor, neighbor, help is on the way. You got to tell them like you really mean it. Now tell them help is on the way. Tell them God going to see you through this. Yeah, help is on the way tonight. Amen. It just might be in the form of the word of the Lord tonight. But God will send help from his sanctuary and strengthen us out of Mount Zion. Help is on the way tonight. Once again, let's clap our hand for the choir. Amen. Praise God. Such a beautiful job on this evening. But we're up to the word of the Lord tonight. Amen. We love the word around here at Full Gospel. Amen. Pray God. We cut our teeth on the word of God. We was born under the word of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And we're so fortunate tonight to have this great speaker. Amen. To be in our midst. Praise God. Once again, we enjoyed her so tremendously in the past. And she's come, praise God, and shared the word of the Lord with us. Amen. Praise God. No stranger to the full gospel ministry. Amen. Her bio is in the uh, souvenir booklet. Praise God. After getting saved in 1958. Praise God. Amen. She went to work for the Lord. Praise God. In the Ohio area. And she moved on, praise God, to Monroe, Louisiana, where she was there, I think I said, for 18 years. Praise God, serving in that church. Amen. Amen. Went to North, North Carolina. Amen. Praise God. Amen. In Alabama. She's been in Brooklyn, New York, Washington, D.C. Amen. No mouse grew up, grew up under this lady's feet. Amen. She's been on the road on fire for God ever since the Lord saved her. And we're so privileged to have her with us tonight. So my brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, amen, from the five baptized Holiness Church of God in the Americas, let's welcome tonight Pastor Katie Nugent with a great big hand clap as she comes tonight. God bless you, Pastor. If you just hold out, help is on the way. Remain standing. Father in heaven, we come at this hour. We come to give you thanks. We want to thank you for all your goodness, all your kindness, all of your tender mercies. Thank you for allowing us to come together in this meeting one more time. Since we met together, we realize many are gone on, but you spared our lives. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Woo, hallelujah. Hey, <laughs> God. Thank you for healing our bodies, our soul, mind, and spirit. We thank you for our apostle, and his companion, Sister Murray. Thank you for how you're touching their bodies. And then, Lord, let your healing virtue flow all over this place tonight. Somebody is tired in their bodies. Somebody is tired in their minds. But we know you're able, Master. We know there's nothing too hard for you. Come on in and take full control. We love you, Lord. We'll give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. And we give you all the honor, these blessings. We praise and thank you for in thy son Jesus' name. In every heart said amen. amen. You may be seated. We do honor the Lord tonight to, may I say, our chief apostle and founder of this great church. To apostle Murray and to Dr. Evangelist, Sister Murray, give her a hand. Those who have suffered, they have suffered down through the years, and now the Lord is blessing them. Isn't he good? 
Somebody says he's good all the time. To all of our bishops tonight and their wives and to our elders and their wives, all ministers, and to this great body of Christ that's present tonight. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endure to all generations. I'm glad to be here tonight. I want to thank the Apostle, First Lady, and Full Gospel for inviting me to come and be your speaker for tonight. Now, I'm going to tell you, I was nervous. Amen. I don't care how long you've been preaching, sometimes you get nervous. <laughs> but I know the Lord will help us. I'm glad I'm saved tonight. Hallelujah. Sanctified. Not cranktified, but sanctified. Baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. I'm en route for the city called heaven. Hallelujah. Some folk want to go to New York. They want to go to England. All over the world, Africa, Jerusalem. But honey, I want to go to that new Jerusalem. Where the sun will never go down. Where there be no more sickness and sorrow. Hallelujah. Old saints say, it'll always be howdy, howdy. And never goodbye. I feel good going this way. Now, I want you to pray for me. Now... Apostle Murray looked like dug down in my soul Monday night. He fed my soul, saints. The word was so powerful, so anointed. And last night, hallelujah, that's all right. You give Reverend Murray a hand. Reverend Herman Murray, Jr., Toe us up again last night. Ooh. I got a shock for you. Last night, he preached the same message that the Lord gave me. So you know what I said? Maybe something in there the Lord wants us to hear. He wants us to grasp it. I thought about changing. I said, Lord, I can't change. You gave it to me. So I'll just have to preach it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your theme is you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the other most part of the earth. I'm grateful because I'm a possessor of the Holy Ghost. I'm thankful because he looked down on me one day and called me to preach the gospel. When he said to his disciples, go ye into all the world, preach the gospel, that included us. He was talking to the 12, but that included us. Tonight, we're not going to be before you long. But if you will turn your Bibles with me. Back to the 17th chapter. Of the book of Samuel. Since Evangelist Murray last night carried us through the whole <laughs> the whole story. I'm just gonna give you a little part of it, okay? Verse 
verse 44 says, I believe we started at 43. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog? Thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I'll give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day, everybody say this day. Will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand? And I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines. This day, everybody say this day, this day. unto the fowls of the air to the wild beast of the earth and all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel it's so good I could keep reading but I just wanna want you to look at the one next to you and say kill it before it kills you Kill it, hallelujah, before it kills you. You know one thing is so much we need to work on, even ourselves. Sometimes we are our own worst enemy. Thank you, Jesus. But you know what the old saints told us? When I was coming up, apostle, sister, bishops, they told us every now and then we need to go back and get it over. I don't know if they told you that, but it's nothing wrong. It's one Holy Ghost, but there's many refillings. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lord, do it again. When you look at the word kill, kill means to deprive of life, put to an end. It's a word that means to defeat. And then you think about the word it, just two letters, it. It, the dictionary says a pronoun. But it can be a plant, a person, or a thing. And I'm going to say it can be sin. Glory, hallelujah. Are you going to pray with me? Sin is raging in the land today. And anything going on is all right, seemingly. Everybody can do what they want to do and say they're going to heaven. But I'm afraid they're in for a rude awakening. Because you're not going to heaven doing anything. One thing he told us, you got to be holy. Be holy for I am holy. Is holiness a hell? And we might as well face it. In this lesson we find there are some things in the lives of God's children 
that can hinder our progress. Our relationship with God should be so nothing can separate you. Husband, wife, you love one another, but can't separate you from God. Love your children and your family and everyone, but nothing to separate you from God. We cannot walk with eagles of turkeys and expect to fly with eagles. I'm going to say it again. We cannot walk with turkeys. You know what turkeys are. And then expect to fly with eagles. You know what an eagle is. Glory be to God. Kill it. Before it kills you. Deprive it of life. It. I'm talking about it. It can be talking too much. Watching too much TV and the wrong thing. Oh, you don't like this tonight. <laughs> but we cannot talk cream and live skim milk. Because God sees everything. There's nothing hid from him. He know our very thoughts. And he know the strands of hair that's on our heads. So we have to kill it. Otherwise, deprive it of life before it deprives you. Could it be we talking too much? Could it be we are gossiping? Could it be a selfish attitude? Sometimes we think we just because the Lord has blessed us. We get a little above ourselves. But I came to tell you, nothing you brought in this world, nothing you're going to take out. So you better might as well stay humble and down at his feet. Some of us have bad attitudes. You have the attitude, you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> Woo, I know everything. That's the attitude you have. But you better watch yourself. Some of us have high tempers. Better not be in the traffic where the traffic is slow. <laughs> if we don't say something, we have no business. We want to run over the person who's causing the problem. And the young people nowadays are flying by you and almost stopping right in front of you. They'll fly by you because you're going slow and then turn around and make a turn in front of you without a signal. Then the enemy want to make you say something you got no business. Sometimes the Lord is teaching us patience. Are you following me? Could we have the attitude of slowfulness? <laughs> Late getting to church. Don't know what it is to be on time. <laughs> Kill it before it kills you. And of course, the Bible says the lust of the flesh. And the pride of life. <laughs> the pride, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life can kill us. We need to assassinate evil. We need to slay malice. Murder jealousy. Adultery. Shacking together, fornicating, envy, strife, 
Or could it be having doubt, unbelief? And I don't guess I better leave out hatred. You'd be surprised how some folk can hate. When they don't like you, they'll dig a ditch for you. If they don't dig the ditch, they set a trap. But I'm so glad. Everybody say, I'm so glad. The Lord sees everything. Tell the Lord, thank you. God Almighty knows. Hey, hey. These things will cause one to go to hell, which is eternal death. And you are the only one can make a change in that situation. Come back to the Lord and ask the Lord to forgive you. And then repent and turn from your ways. Ask the Lord to strengthen you and make me to see myself like you see me. I don't want to think I'm all the time right and somebody else is all the time wrong. But oh, such my heart. Mm. Woo. I'm trying to take my time, saints. <laughs> my, 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 my. We're in a warfare. Jesus said to watch and pray. Sometimes we want to watch everybody else. But we need to watch ourselves. In the days of the Exodus, most of the Israelites had been afraid to enter into the, the promised land because there were giants living over there. They were men of great statures. Moses sent, told Joshua to send 12 spies over in the land of Canaan to spy out the land. When they got over there, they saw the giants. They saw the cities fenced in. And they came back with a bad report. Ten of those men said, we can't do it. But two of them, Joshua and Caleb, said, we can. If the Lord be with us. I came to tell you tonight, saints, you can make it if you try. Long as the Lord is on your side. Hallelujah. And uh, that was when Jesse sent David to the camp where the Israelites were fighting. Help me, Lord. And uh, before we could get there good, there was this giant taunting and making fun and calling on the Israelites like soldiers to send somebody out to fight him. And when the, the, the Bible says when they saw him and heard him, they ran from him. But I want you to know tonight the devil ain't nothing but a bluff. Because we have the Holy Ghost and we have power over that devil. Tell the Lord thank you. Hallelujah. David being so young and said to the gentleman, the man he was talking with and asking the questions about the situation. And he said to the man, I'll fight him. And they told Saul about it. Saul, as Brother Herman said last night, put his armor on him. But he hadn't tried it out. You can't be like nobody else, children. You have to be what God made you to be. And don't try to be like somebody else. Can't put on the facade. Yes, sir. But just be what God would have you to be. And so David pulled uh -huh, the arm of Saul off. 
And uh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. <laughs> and uh, he went and got him five stones. Help me, Lord. Just five little stones. And he had a sling that he used. But I came to tell you, hallelujah, the greatest weapon the saints have, you got to learn how to pray. You got to learn how to fast. Hallelujah. Got to learn how to turn your plate down. Got to learn to come to prayer meeting. Where there is unity, there is strength. Tell him yes. Oh yes. I don't know about you, but one day the enemy had me bound. He had me bluffed. Thank you, Lord. He had been taunting. Uh-huh, this giant Goliath had been taunting the children of Israel. Forty long days. Somebody's been taunted by the devil 10 and 20 and 30 years. But I came to tell you tonight, you can be free. <laughs> yes, sir. God will set you free because we have the authority over the enemy. Tell the Lord, yes. yes. Tell him, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. David said, God is my strength and my power. He maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet. He setteth me upon my high places. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked and my foes, when they came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell, though an host should encamp around about me. My heart will not fear. The wall should rise against me. In this, in this, it, hallelujah, woo, in this is my confidence. I know the Lord will. I know he will. He'll fight my battle. He is my refuge. He is my strength. He's my all in all. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. When the way get dark, he'll shine a light. Thank you, Jesus. You have your weapons tonight. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, sir. I tell you, we're in a warfare. You got to keep on fighting. God will give you strength. David went and got five stones. Oh, yes, he did. And just used one of them and slung it and hit Goliath in the head. God Almighty, Lord, if you get the head, honey, you don't worry about the rest. Tell the Lord, yes. Hit him in the head. Knock him out. David knocked him out. Yes, he did. Took and went up on him. Took his own sword. Cut his head off. Got a mighty nose. Kill the devil before he killed you. Yes, you can tread up on him. He's given us authority to tread up on the serpents. Thank you, Lord. Hey, God. Yes, sir. In all of your ways, acknowledge the Lord. He'll be with you in your darkest hour. He was there with David when David cut his head off. He'll give you power. I said he'll give you power. Woo, help me, Lord. He'll give you power, saints. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad I'm in the army of the Lord. I'm a warrior tonight. I'm not afraid what men can do to me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear him saying, David said, the Lord is my shepherd. 
and I shall not want him. That's my favorite scripture. Yes, sir. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Yes, sir. He restored my soul. Yes, sir. When I'm down and out, when I don't feel them all in my soul, when I can't feel nothing, he's yet with me. Yes. Yeah, no, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I'll fear no evil, because the Lord is with me. I said, the Lord will never leave me. He'll never leave you, nor will he forsake you. Thank you, Jesus. They said David had five stones, but he only used one to kill Goliath. But the book says that the Goliath had four more brothers. Just in case the brothers showed up. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be loaded, children. You got to have plenty of ammunition. Yes, cause he sure will attack you. But oh yes, greater is he that's in us than he that is in the world. I'm so glad tonight I got my wall shoes on. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And when David, Hmm. Conquered Goliath, took his head off, put it under his arm. This Bible saying he went to Jerusalem. Yes, sir. And when he came back and put put the rest of his equipment, body whatever, in the tent. But let me tell you what he did. And he went jans jumping and shouting. And while he was praising the Lord, the Philistines were running. You can put the devil on the run. You have the authority, saints. Don't let him take control of you. Hallelujah. But kill him before he kills you. Tell the Lord, yes. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last always. Oh, yes. He'll fight your battle. If you just hold on. Hold on. When the way get dark, he'll shine a light. He'll make a way out of no way. Yes. Oh, hiya. Woo. My God. Yes, sir. He's my rock. He's my fortress. He's my deliverer. He's my God. He's my buckler. He's my shield. He's a horn of my salvation. He's a bishop and shepherd of my soul. He's my king of kings and he's my lord of lords. He's everything. He's my way maker. He's my bread when I'm hungry. Oh, yes he's my friend that sit closer than a brother oh yes oh yes oh yes Woo. Hey. <laughs> I hear him saying be still be still and know I'm God I will be exalted among the heathens. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. I hear him saying, surely. Everybody says, surely. Surely. His salvation is nigh us. Uh-huh, yes, sir. Them that fear him. That glory may dwell in our land when mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring forth out of the earth. Righteousness shall look down from heaven. And the Lord shall give that which is good. And our land shall yield the increase. 
I'm trusting in him. I'm leaning on him. I'm walking on him. I'm trusting in him. I know he will. I know he will. Oh, he will. <laughs> yes, sir. You know the rest of the story. Israel put the enemy to a flight. Yes, sir. And they came out just one person. One can put a thousand to a flight. Two can put 10,000 to a flight. Look at the power that the Lord has given us through the Holy Ghost. The bishop told us, you have power over the enemy. I'm so glad I got my salvation in time. Long time ago, he saved me. He changed me. He fixed me. He gave me the authority. And tonight, whew, I'm going to kill it before it kills me. Give God the praise, somebody. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless his wonderful name. Hey, oh, oh the anointing in the house. The dawn is in the house tonight. The anointing is in the house tonight. Oh, uh, didn't she preach? Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Kill it before it kills you. How many know God then gave us the power to kill it? Tell somebody, neighbor, I got the power. Now you ought to tell him I'm going to kill it before it kills me. Now if you ain't got the power, you better come get it. Because it's going to kill you before you kill it. If you ain't got the power. But tonight you can have it. That's the theme of this week. You can receive power. You will receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. First thing she said was kill sin. Kill it. Get it out of your life. 